Thank you very much. So I'm Bote Dimanov. I'm doing a PhD in machine learning in the computer laboratory in Cambridge. And what I'm most interested in is interpretable deep learning, right? So what is interpretable? And currently there is a lot of uh, debate in society of what we mean. So let's just take the definition that it is to explain in human in understandable terms, okay? And that's what we're trying to achieve. And to convince you why we actually need interpretability, there is a lot of... Uh, uh, applications of machine learning applications becoming part of our lives and automating our decisions. We want to be absolutely sure that these decisions follow the same social functions as a real human would follow them, right? We want them to be safe, we want them to be fair, we want them to be maintainable, and most of all, the EU now has made us even uh, allow people to have the right of explanation, right? So we need to make these applications interpretable. Uh, and in the society right now, we have these three very simple ways of making machine learning models interpretable. So it's just saying you how important a certain feature is in making a decision. There are these uh, models which come up with rules that separate the data to tell you, okay, this, these are the exact rules that they follow to reach a decision. Or we use this, what we call prototype-based explanations, where we, based on our kind of um, prototypical view, like a quintessential view of the problem, we give you in most of the cases, that's how my decision looks like, so I just compare it to a certain decision, and that's the prototype-based uh, reasoning. In deep learning, of course, everything that's related to deep learning, people are like, bam, you know, jumping into it, and there is a lot of research going on. It's that's kind of the landscape of all the possible kind of methods people are trying out. I'm just gonna talk about two methods, which are the activation, maximization, and inversion method. And the idea is very simple. We take one neuron in the network, and we say, okay, what does this neuron encode? What is the information inside of it, right? So we project this neuron. We say, what is the input that's gonna maximally activate this neuron? And uh, it's coming up with a certain like image, for example, the image that is maximally exciting about that specific um, neuron. So the problem is that one neuron doesn't really tell you a lot. So the other option is to do inversion, which is taking an entire layer of the net network and saying, okay, what does this layer in code, what is the information inside that layer. Uh, but the problem here is that there is, there is research suggesting that it's not just one neuron or it's not an entire uh, layer of neuron, actually the information inside the network is sparse, it's uh, what we call partially distributed, right? There are a couple of neurons which are encoding one specific concept. And certainly there is, there is a gap of the research and it's not addressing this problem. And what we're trying to do is really find out, okay, how is the neural network combining this increasingly abstracted concepts into these dis, uh, partially distributed representations. And we want to uncover that uh, in our research. Thank you very much.